apparently today is the day that the upstairs neighbor decided to move all of his furniture around. Thank you for that. aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So welcome back to Holiday Review Extravaganza on my channel. Today we are going to be talking about a palette that has been receiving a lot of really great praise in the makeup world. And this is the new Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. This is Kat Von D's main holiday palette for 2015. I picked this product up at Sephora. You can also get it online at Sephora, but I believe it is a Sephora exclusive product. It retails for $59. I will say this palette is definitely one of the most unique ones that I have seen in terms of holiday releases that have come out this year. I absolutely love the outer packaging of it. Kat Von D actually hand drew, hand designed this entire package packaging layout, which is amazing. I love that Kat Von D actually uses her amazing artistic talent and really showcases it in a lot of her packaging on her products. Now this right here is the actual palette itself. The palette does come in a little like plastic sleeve when you get it in the mail. And it does have this little sheet that shows a couple of different looks you can achieve using this palette. I do think that's a nice little touch to give, especially when you see what is inside this palette because it is a unique one to say the least. In order to open the palette there is a little tab here with a little star on it and you just pull the palette out like that. The outer sleeve here of the actual palette is made of a really nice thick durable cardboard. I mean it does bend a little but for the most part it's really durable and the back of the packaging does have exactly what's inside. Now inside the actual palette you have all of your shadows laid out in a very unique arrangement here. You can see you have a big outer circle of very very bright colorful bright rainbow colors and then this inner circle here has some more neutrals. Total in this palette you are getting 24 eyeshadows. Each of the eyeshadow pans holds 1.1 grams or 0.04 ounces of product which is a really good amount of product. So before I go more into the texture of the shadows and all of that, I'm going to go ahead and just jump into some swatches so you guys can see the pigmentation of this palette as a whole. And in terms of swatches, I'm going to start out with this top purple color here and then go around clockwise in a circle. And then once I get into the inner row, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'll start with this neutral color here and then go clockwise in a circle. So the top purple color here is called Anthem and it is a slightly shimmery, really bright violety purple. Next we have Muse, which is a very, very light, almost matte lilac-y purple color. Then we have Echo, which is a very bright periwinkle purpley blue with a lot of pinky glitter in it and the glitter doesn't seem to transfer very well on this color. Dark Wave is a dark but still pretty bright cobalty type blue color. Synth is a neon, almost purely neon turquoisey blue. Hyper Ballad is a pretty bright perfectly matte teal color. Lemmy is a very gorgeous, really metallic emerald green. Misfit is another bright matte color. This one is a true bright lime green. Vinyl is a bright matte chartreuse greeny yellow color. Legend is a metallic light buttercreamy yellow type color. Fran is a really bright canary yellow with a matte finish. Analog is another matte color. This is a bright matte rusty orange. Harpsichord is a nice rusty orangey coppery metallic color. This one is gorgeous. Rewind is a metallic 
true purpley burgundy color another gorgeous shade destroyer is a bright matte red color but this one has a little bit of pink in it so it's not a completely true red swoon is a true matte fuchsia pink and then love is a metallic pinky purpley now moving into the center circle first off we have strutter which is a medium matte grayish brown lyric is gorgeous this one is a slightly metallic kind of golden white color black metal is your true dark matte black Skulls is a super, super frosty white. Noble is a light to medium matte, kind of like a cappuccino brown color. Molder is a yellow toned matte highlight color. And then Vox is a deep coffee brown color with a matte finish. So you can see, judging by the swatches of the entire palette, the pigmentation is there. I did not use any primer in my swatches. I did not use any sort of base. Those were just dry swatches of all of the colors. So despite these colors looking very, very bright in the pan, and some people may think, oh, they definitely won't come across like that on my skin. They will. The texture on most of these is really, really good. There are a couple of misses in the palette as there are with most palettes. This color right here, this kind of lime green color called vinyl, definitely doesn't have the greatest pigmentation. This color up here, Echo, the one that's kind of that bright periwinkle with some glitter in it. The glitter doesn't transfer very well, but it can fall on your face so I don't love that color either. But overall, the texture of the shadows is really phenomenal. All of the metallic-y shades that I pointed out have A+, plus, two thumbs up pigmentation. They are amazing, buttery, smooth, soft, blendable, just incredible. Even the matte shades are really, really finely milled. They don't come across as overly powdery or chalky or anything like that. I love the array of colors offered in this palette. You get all cool tones and warm toned colors. But in terms of the center circle, I feel like there isn't any medium matte shade as a nice transition color. You either have a bunch of really, really light highlight shades or you have deep, dark, smoky shades, but you don't have a lot of mid-tones. So I maybe would have switched out one of these light shades for a good medium brown. But I will say I absolutely love the concept. I love the concept of having a bunch of colors and then some neutrals to really ground the look. So you can really achieve an all-in-one look just using this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little side-by-side -side of a couple of the previous holiday palettes that Kat Von D has released, just so you guys can see the comparison in colors and options. First comparison we're gonna do is with last year's palette. This one was the Star Studded Eyeshadow Book. So here's a little comparison shot of them next to each other. So you guys can see this year's palette, first off, is definitely much bigger in size and I mean color wise this year's palette definitely has some more bright fun colors now I'm gonna go ahead and do a side-by-side -side look of the palette Kat Von D released two years ago this one is the spellbinding eyeshadow book here is a side-by-side -side look at those two palettes so once again, this year's palette definitely has some more bright colors, but I do feel like this book had some more really, really unique colors. This one was probably my favorite Kat Von D holiday palette in general. I loved this palette. Overall, I think this palette is great for any of you guys who have maybe been wanting to jump into trying some colorful shadows. I will say while the overall packaging layout and concept is really, really cute, I do kind of wish that that there was maybe a little magnet or something here to kind of hold the palette in place because you guys can see it just slips out so easily. This would definitely not be travel friendly by any means. Also just by the fact that there is no mirror on this palette at all, but the quality is there, the amount of product you are getting, especially for the price, in my opinion is really really great so my honest thoughts on this is that i would definitely recommend it if you are in the market for a nice bright eyeshadow palette and this one speaks to you 
the quality is two thumbs up. I absolutely love it. So that is pretty much all I have to say about the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As always, be sure to check out my holiday review extravaganza playlist. It will be the first link in the description box down below and I will be uploading all of my holiday videos to that playlist as they go up. Be sure to share this video with your friends and family, especially if this product is on your wish list. Be sure to let them know. Just send them this link and just say, hint, hint. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this palette and what you guys think of it. I would love to know your thoughts and I will talk to you guys in my next holiday review extravaganza video on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye. Layout is very reminiscent of the UD 15th anniversary eyeshadow palette. So of these pans, you are getting less than one full-size powder and you are still paying $80.